Hello everyone, this is Sean from Atlanta once again with a mod that I hope will help those who have a Tyrannus X9E and trying to hook it up to a Dragon Link. After spending a couple of weeks searching the groups and internet, um, I found that no one has tackled the X9E and Dragon Link issue. Um, I wanted to use my Eagle Tree Vector and Dragon Link to get to the um, port here. It's imperative that you do this. Don't try to do this when it's on because you'll screw it up and mess it up. And if you go to the Dragon Link website, it's, there's a, a um, thing that shows you the same thing. They'll tell you the exact thing. Do not do this when this is on. All right, so that's one of the main things I wanted to stress to everybody. Okay, so here's what we do. You got to take your back cover off. Okay, mine's is already off. Okay, and we are now in the lovely world of wires and pins and things like that. Okay, one of the first things that you need to do is locate your RF module uh, pins, and they are right here. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in on this real quick. Give you guys an idea. There's five of them. Okay, on. The bottom pin, it says S port. At least it, it, it says S port here, but that's going to be the last pin down below. The way that this works is it goes uh, PPM. This pin here, number four, is not used for anything. Pin number three is your positive pin for your battery. P, uh, battery supply. P, uh, pin number two is used as your ground. And pin number one is your telemetry uh, pin. Um, if you ordered a um, Dragon Link and you have it, um, I'm sorry, if you ordered a Tyrannus and you ordered the Dragon the cable that hooks uh, from the Dragon Link to the Tyrannus, you're going to have to make a modification on that cable. And basically what I end up doing is actually pretty much getting rid of it. This is it here. Um, there's a couple people that show that you use this pin to stick it in. Well, that's on the D models. On the E models, it's hard. It'll, the pins will come back out, so you're sort of you're sort of Shanghai there. You're stuck there. Okay, so what I did was I looked around. I had some extra wires from, from my uh, AP uh, 2.6, and it had these little lovely little pins in it. So I was like, okay, let me see if I can use these here. So these actually work out pretty good. Um, what you want to do is take your one wire that's going to hold your telemetry um, request and you're going to plug that into pin number one. Okay, you're going to take your second pin, which is the PPM pin, and that's going to go into number five. Okay, so basically, there is actually before you do that, let me do one thing to show you how not to put any holes drill any holes into your uh, unit take your tube pins you slide them through the auxiliary antenna hole there and bring those through it's relatively simple it's one two three bring them through then you take your telemetry um, pin and you go into pin number one and you take your um, PPM pin and that goes into number five. Now I'm doing this with an external battery uh, pack for my um, external power supply. The reason why I'm doing that is um, when I hook the Dragon Link up to um, with the cable that was supplied by uh, Aloft Hobbies, I hooked it up to uh, the E it, and I turned it on it went on everything was fine but it drained the power to the battery something crazy I went from like 11.3 down to 8.8 uh, um, in a matter of like six minutes and then my alarm started coming on and it was driving me up the wall so my biggest fear was flying my plane somewhere long distance and um, my transmitter dying because of the battery. Um, so the only thing it would do is it would just go into return to home 
and then it circled until it crashed. So I decided against that. So I decided to come up with another alternative, and that was to make an external battery. Okay, so basically now we're done in here. Secure your wires. Okay, secure your wire. Now one of the things I did was I'm notorious for losing little small things like this. It doesn't. It 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 doesn't. Um, mount anything but it's a it's a plug and I want to keep the keep it up with the radio so what I did was all right it's in now it's in I'm not gonna lose it anymore I won't lose it and it's holding my wires nice and firm they're not gonna come back and forth and have excess wire on the outside all right so once this is done go ahead and place your make sure your wires are clear go ahead and place your cover back on the on the rear I'm going to do this quickly. I'm not going to screw all the screws in. I'm going to screw them in there lightly. Nice and tight. Okay. My next thing that I did was I needed a way to mount the um, Dragon Link onto my E. So, because it's a flat um, surface, when I put the radio on and sitting on my stomach like this, when you put it on like this, then the radio will actually shoot out. The antenna will shoot straight out. Okay, so what I wanted to do was, I needed to come up with another method. Um, I had two methods. I can put a 90 degree adapter on here and have the antenna run straight up, or I can come up with another method. Sometimes in this hobby, you purchase things that you have every intention on using them for one thing, but you end up having to repurpose them for something completely different. I went to a Loft Hobbies and I purchased, and I wanted to put a monitor on my um, um, E, but put the monitor on it. The monitor was just a little, was a tad too heavy, so I ended up taking it off. It broke my bracket here, but I said I'm gonna save it for something else. I'll find a smaller monitor, a real light monitor or something. But then it, this project came along, and I said this is the ideal thing to use it for. So. Give me an idea what I'm doing here. I'm, it's, I'm putting my bracket back on. Let me just sort of tighten this up real quick. Okay, that'll take care of that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dragon link. Okay, now I've already did my hole, so it's already there, and um, I'm ready to install this. This is the easiest part of the entire process here, is just getting all this here installed. Okay, so I get my two wires. I plug in my telemetry uh, port. And I plug into uh, input number one. These are two connections that you have to in plug into. Now your telemetry wire is plugged into port into slot number two. So that's very key that you do that. Um, you don't need to do it anyplace else. It has to be a number two. Let me see if I can just focus this camera back up, and you should see that there. Okay. Now, let me get this thing installed. So I want to run the wires through the bottom. I try to split it so this way they sort of uh, straddle the mount. I place my mount on. I normally take a piece of Velcro and I secure it. This is not the piece I'm going to be using, but it gives you the general idea. This way now this is nice and secure. Place my antenna on and bingo. We now have Dragon Link on my Tyrannus X9E. Now, you have to make some sort of uh, changes inside of your radio. You come down to your internal RF module. You have to turn that off. Okay, I don't know if this is showing up on the screen or not. Let's try so we can get a little bit closer. And Okay, you have to turn that off. Okay. Then you come down to your external RF module and you change that to PPM. Okay, it's just that simple. Then you come down again to the PPM frame and you want to change that to 30.5 milliseconds and then 300 U. You're going to go to your, tele your telemetry screen and you have to change this to FreeSky's S port. Okay, now once you turn that, once you do that, that should pretty much um, enable your uh, S port telemetry data 
um, and ready to go. So th that here is done. Now remember, I'm using a Eagle Tree vector. So if you're not using an Eagle Tree, you're using something else, it's going to be slightly different. I would suggest that you just sort of try to find it and look it up. You'll find it pretty easy. Um, but for the Tyrannus X9E, okay, um, this was the setup. It was just that simple. So now I'm actually ready to go. I'm going to use my battery. I'm, I'm, I'm using a light battery. I'm using a 2700 um, milliamp battery. And this is, I don't know why, where I got this from, but I'm using this battery. Um, and it seems to work for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this all up. And now I don't have my receiver set up to it right now because I'm not ready for that yet. Um, I'm going to do another video on that because um, there are some things i got to change on that too. But as you can see, I already have my lights, my green lights and, and red lights. Um, this is all set up, ready to go. It's just waiting to be bound with something else. So just in a quick nutshell, open your case up, attach the two wires, come back out through your auxiliary antenna hole, um, come up with some sort of mount for the top of the handle because it's, it's so much easier and your antenna is already pointed pretty much up. I put on an extent, uh, external battery. I made my changes inside my radio. And now I'm ready to go, at least from the radio side. Now I'll do, I'm gonna do another video on um, the other end of it, the software changes and uh, the receiver. And then that should pretty much get me in the air and, and um, no, I do have to do one other thing. I do have to set my telemetry screens up on the, um, on the E. Um, and I'm going to use a Luna script, and I will find the Luna script and I, that I want to use, and I'll post it. I'll post it at a later date on to this uh, video. I think that's about it for right now. I'm sorry if the video seems a little crappy, but you know I'm just trying to run through it real quick. I'm not a professional video photographer and speaker and all that good stuff, but I just like to share little things that I find that that nobody else has, or at least um, things that people can look at and go, well, you know what, I can do this better or I can come up with a better idea or, or suggestion or comment. So if you have those suggestions or comments or thoughts or whatever, place them down below, okay? Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. It won't be taken personally. It must be something I said wrong or maybe I was wearing the wrong deodorant. I don't know. But you guys have a great day. Keep your wings in the air. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. Bye.